Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm good. Long day at work, but you know, not different from any other time. So. Yeah. Do you do you make thin sections at work for you're saying for concrete or is it just like bulk? It's like, it's so. bulk. I mean, it's bulk, but I mean, I get like mm. concrete and joint compound and shit, and I you know grind it down or whatever in a mortar and pestle and you know. Oh, I, oh okay, okay. Hydrochloric acid, saying. throw it on a slide. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. It is a great time. What uh? What lab do you work for? What? Uh, it's EMSL's the parent company. Um, but Never heard of them. But... Yeah, they're based out of New Jersey. Okay. But it's a, uh, it's nice. I work technically in my place. It's called LA Testing, and like we're, we were like a small lab that they bought. So I don't know. Like we're still under them, but we have a little bit of autonomy just because we're so far away. It's kind of nice. Yeah. So. I used to work for, um, it's, I think Element is the company now that owns all the labs that I work for, I, Element Materials. I think I've heard of them. Um, but they're like more metals testing kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... And then I think it's, is it? I think it's SCG Global. I'm not, or maybe it's SG. I don't know. There's another lab company. I have some like old bosses that work for, but I, I'm not sure on that one. Oh my God. Everybody showed up though. <laughs> oh, yep. I just it. listened to you talk. Yeah. They all showed up at once, I guess. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Wow. 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 Oh, okay. Let me get, how are you feeling, Tusi? I'm feeling fine, mostly. I'm, my body is sore, but that probably has more to do with uh, the fact that I exercised for three straight days in, like, the first time in years. Um, so uh, that probably has more to do with it than the... Uh, yeah, probably. Then, but... I don't buy it. Blame it on the Rona. Yeah. Yeah, my legs don't want to work. I fell down the stairs, too, because I, oh, my legs were so sore that I... I don't know if you can blame that on the Rona. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my legs were so sore, I slipped and fell down the stairs. Now my tailbone fucking hurts. Ow. So, mm. hurts to stand, hurts to bit. sit. Yep, it's a rough, it's a rough one. Mm. Making it to the weekend. What matters? Also, our <laughs> course... We're supposed to get our new couch delivered today. We ordered it in October of 2020. Uh, oh. Supposed to get our new couch delivered. Uh, the truck broke down about a mile away from my home. Cool. <laughs> so we're not getting Sweet. it until Saturday. Tell them to get out and push. Yeah, I was like, how close are you? Uh, but no, we're, we're having a great day over here in the Tuesday residence. Yeah. Just fucking killing it. Yeah, you'll have that, man. It's, it kind of sucks, but... Yeah. It's it like is. what happens, it all happens at once. It does. It really does. All right. Basically. Mm. So, Jared, did you, uh, did you get your Blood Bowl books? Ooh. My what book? Your Blood, blood Bowl. Blood Bowl book? Blood yes, Bowl I did books? get my Blood Bowl oh, book. Have, have I haven't looked there? in, like, oh, a ton okay. of detail yet, but I've glanced at it, because... So I had, like, three packages worth of gaming stuff show up while I was on vacation. Because uh -huh. <laughs> I sort of hit it once. Nice. So. I couldn't think of a clever way to say that I had stolen your Blood Bowl book when I was talking about it in the other chat, but um, stolen <laughs> off your porch. Well, that would have been, uh, been pretty tough. Since my neighbor, I watched my neighbor pick it up on my porch. I could have beat him up. So, no, I did. I I looked at it. 
uh, a little bit. I ended up getting those. Uh, I actually like the stat cards quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, so I got some for nice. the uh, Black Orcs. It, you know, you, yeah. like the fact that you can kind of write on them too. Yeah. Well, you get I the... Bet, I don't know if they dry erase real well, but... I don't know. You could probably uh, laminate some of them to make them dry erase pretty well. That's kind of what I was thinking. And that turns out I know oh. a guy that has access to a laminating uh, machine. I don't... I, I probably still do. I'm going to have to... Since I changed apartments, I'm going to have to do a little work on that. But there is there is a laminating machine somewhere, I know. I just don't know where it's at. <laughs> Go over there and uh, check on your old apartment, you know, visit and make sure well, everything's going good. The person over there that owns the laminating machine now is also a different person that I really oh. don't want to spend time in their office. Oh, man, that sucks. Yeah. I I had spent, I probably spent about an hour and a half over there last, you no, know, Monday trying to explain to them, like, so we make big rolls of aluminum, right? And so if you have yep. dents, like down one side, if you roll it up on another coil, like it's going to change the direction or like the location of the dents when you go to another PC, like another online station. Um, and, and all it really does is it like it rotates at 180 degrees. So your dents are going to change sides that way. And she just like could not understand it. And I was like, well... I think you just need to get like a length of toilet paper and two tubes and like make yourself a little model and like mess with it and you'll figure it out. But I spent a lot of time explaining it to her. And it's kind of hard to explain this way, but I was like drawing pictures and stuff. And if you guys had to work It took on me a stuff, second to understand like what you're getting at, but like you're, you're, you're unrolling it and re-rolling it onto a different spool. Yeah. And, yeah. So in that operation. So they're maybe, not at the same lateral position anymore. Well, they're not the same lateral position, and then also, you think think about the toilet paper going over the top or over the back, right? How you put the roll on the uh, yep. on there, and so when you when you unwind these coils, you always unwind the same direction, so you're like always over the top. So if you wind yeah. that over the top onto another spool over the top, your defect which was on one side, when you rotate that 180 to unwind it, oh, yeah. it's not going to gonna be side. on the other side. Right. But if you underwind it on the, on the, the, on the winding coil, if you, if you go to the under, it won't change sides. So it's not a difficult right. concept to understand. And it's a, like a core concept you have to understand if you're going to manage like reworking these coils in that process and i spent a lot of time with her trying to explain it and i i'm not sure she understood the concept and so if i go use the laminator i'm gonna have to do that again and i don't like you that much jared i'm sorry <laughs> that's fine i think that's completely fair but was, i mean you could take two rolls of toilet paper over there i actually tried to do that when i went over to talk originally the uh the bathroom down the hall there's like a uh, like a broom closet outside that normally has like a lot of toilet paper in it and it didn't have any like like packaged up individually packaged like industrial like shitty toilet paper but still um so i'm gonna steal two rolls and like take them down and like use them to illustrate what i was talking about um but they didn't have any look at lee and, doing good stuff so they pay me the the medium bucks so a medium bucks, bucks. <laughs> yeah yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty ready for Blue Bowl season to start back up. Yeah, me too. I'm ready for something so, to start back up. Um, I'm actually taking every... uh, taking models up to Indy to get painted, and uh, this guy who's painting some Space Marines for me, I just told him, well, I was like, hey, I'm going to bring up some blood, a Blood Bowl team, and why don't you give uh, me a quote for those two? Yeah, uh, he wanted to paint some Blood Bowl team, or Andy was like trying to get me to send a Blood Bowl team up there, but I'm just not, I don't know. I'm just not about paying somebody to paint for me. Well, I, don't know. I bought those black orcs. Yeah, I was real excited about them, but I just got behind on yeah. on hobby in general, and I was like, you oh know yeah, what? instead of them sitting in a box, I'll just get one team done, and then I'll have yeah. a team completely painted and ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Well, rather than rather than paint new models yourself or buy new models that go unpainted, you know, might as well spend a few bucks. And well, my <laughs> thing is. I, I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna assemble them until I was ready to like assemble them and paint them. So they're not yeah. even playable. They're just sitting on a sprue. So ah, it's like okay. yeah. 
Like at this point, like I might as well not bought them if I don't do something with them. They are really cool models. The the black orcs. Yeah, yeah I like them. Um, yeah, I ended up putting him down to a pretty reasonable price on them. So. I I think he's not like a he's a decent painter and he doesn't charge that much. And you might be getting a little bit of like I think he probably gives Andy just a touch of a discount because he gives him so much, you know. So you might be getting a little bit of that too. I probably but. did. That's okay. So it, it's all good. I I worked with him a little bit, and I you know yeah shot the shit with him and, and got him down to a price I'm comfortable with. I don't think he's as good a painter as Adam is, but N- no, I, I've seen his stuff. I don't really think he is either, but I think he's decent. You know, I I think he I think he knows how to paint quickly to make his money uh make his rate good, right? Probably. Yeah, probably. He doesn't take that excruciating detail. But yeah. Anyways, on to Pathfinder things. Yeah. Sorry. I have yeah. some. I have some. Uh, I guess general announcements and stuff before we take off. Ooh, so, general announcements. Yeah, general announcements and stuff. So, a couple things. We are getting to the close of a story arc in the next few sessions, right? Like this is a major story arc that will close, presumably, or you'll all die. I don't. I don't know. Like these things happen. <laughs> One of these. <laughs> uh, so, when we get there, uh, the question there's a there's a couple questions that come up, and one is, do we continue down this route with this thing, uh, this you know open world, these characters doing doing the things and the stuff, and I I just you know need to figure some stuff out and probably to do some additional prep work, uh, is one option. The, another option is. Uh, I was looking at those uh, pre-made adventures, the adventure paths they come out with, because I actually looked at the Pathfinder ones before. Uh-huh. And since they were on twenty-five percent off, I was like, you know, I'll just I'll get one of the I'll get one of the you know newer ones and just see what they look like. Uh, and I'll be honest, those PDFs are legit. Yeah, they have right. interactive maps that I can turn off the grid lines. I can turn the grid lines on. Cool. Uh, I can turn off the DM notes. And stuff. Oh. So literally, they just will drop right into roll twenty. That's nice. Uh, if that's something we're interested in, you know, I, I know you guys are mildly invested in your characters, but I also know you guys like to make characters. So that's an option too. Is uh is run something of that nature. Uh, and then the third option is if anybody else wants to uh, take a hand at DMing, or you got somebody's welcome to take over. If you if anybody wants it, if not, I'm okay. To keep going. So that's just some, um, some stuff to think on a little bit because that 25% off sale goes for a couple more days. I think it goes until Sunday. Okay. I have to think about this. Yeah. And and like I said, I really was not, it wasn't even on my radar until I was like, you know what? I'll, I, I spent like, I think it was $12. Twelve or thirteen dollars on one of those adventures, and it goes literally is the amount of content that I've done in the last three months. <laughs> I'm I'm well spent. Okay. Yeah, it was like it's like a hundred pages of stuff, and goes from level one to four. And then the the there's ones that are six uh six books and ones that are three books. And the the three book ones go levels one to ten. The six book ones go levels one to twenty. It's just literally a, a whole deal. And you, uh, I didn't, I'm not sure I caught this part correctly. You make or you uh, don't make characters? No, you would make a character, right? It's just okay. you wouldn't, I would say we probably wouldn't pull these characters in. Oh, because yeah. The way like the story the arcs work, you need to start at the beginning of them to understand what's going on. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, because okay. they're meant to be like a full, a full blown story arc that has, you know, start to finish ties with your NPCs that, it matters. We can't just like skip in the, yeah. to the higher level bits. Here we go. Or or we skip in and run through the whole thing as level three characters yeah. that level one just fucking shit up. <laughs> yeah, just blowing stuff up, and then the rewards aren't fun, right? You're like, oh, I got yeah. this trash out. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm kidding mostly. Um, mostly, but it is nice to blow stuff up. So it would be so funny to thoughts. run in and blow stuff up, but. Um... Also, 
I absolutely nominate John for this next adventure path that's coming. Yeah. Uh, book well, it comes out. And it's one? gonna it's gonna be a three path. Uh, it's like the it's basically a battle royale. <laughs> it's like a three book oh. path. It's like uh, uh, I don't. It's like it's gonna be ten levels. It's called the Ruby something. Uh, and Ruby, it's this Ruby. wizard just calls like thirty two teams together to an island that they have to compete against the all the Ruby other teams. Phoenix tournament. Yeah, that. And I, I just looked at it and I said, "This screams John because it's it's a battle royale." <laughs> yeah, I'd do it. I would run that. It was real, it's real funny. Can the PC's team of contestants survive six bouts in the Grand Pavilion Arena? <laughs> yeah. Can you now? Where do they start? What uh, what uh, level do you? It says start? adventure it's, overview it's, level. It's level 11. one. Well, yeah, I think th it's level one to eleven. Yeah. Oh, to 11. okay. And it's. It's three books. They release like on the fifth of May, the twenty sixth of May, and then like mid June. Gotcha. But I mean, obviously, we don't get together soon enough for that to be an issue. Right. Yeah. Right. No, not really a problem. I just I saw it and I thought of John and I laughed. That would be fun. So, yeah. I don't. I don't know. If I was I'd be looking down at the, DM. Uh, I was just think. Sorry, just thinking out loud. I don't know if I'd be down to DM. Just because I got a bunch of other shit going on, and I don't, I wouldn't be a good DM, uh, but I'd play. <laughs> I, yeah, uh... and, and like I said, it's not a huge deal. I can, I can keep going for a, for a little while longer. It's not a big deal there. Yeah, I don't know if I can right yet, but I, I still, I'd be down to do it. But I need to uh, do some prep work and stuff to DM and whatever. And also, just it's, it's that busy time of the year, so I'm just kind of swamped right yep. now. So. It's that busy time of the year. Yeah, I already know opinions? how much work I have to do tomorrow at work, and it's not a fun amount. So, <laughs> I uh, I will uh, volunteer to DM at some point in the future, uh, but I think I'm going to be DMing a D and D group here starting up pretty soon that I don't think is going to last very long. So I, I <laughs> it'll just like wet your whistle to not juggle to DM things. Oh no, that's yeah. that's fine. Um, it always do if a you guys can handle. Too. You know. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I'm more than happy to do one-off nonsense. Yeah. Uh, oh, and, those are always and fun. Like I said, I'm not on. I've I've already got the one book on this this PDF that I decided to buy just to try it. So yeah. if it's something that we want to, if you guys are just you know, like okay, we had our fun with this story arc. We don't really necessarily want to continue these characters or this this feel. That is, it might be my preference just because it's way less prep work. But if you yeah. guys are super attached to this, uh, these characters in the story, I will keep doing it. Um, yeah, generally, I feel like the using a using a pre-made book is going to be more fun for everybody, mostly because it doesn't require as much prep on the DM. Yeah, um, I think that's the biggest thing. So even um, you're getting more bang for your buck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I looked at when the main reason I bought it and I looked at it is because I know what the D and D ones look like. And they're almost just as much prep for the DM as me doing it myself. Yeah. And the Pathfinder ones are legit. Like okay. they are way better. I think I read through the one that you kind of got from that bundle that we got, Jared, because there was like a entry level yeah, one yeah. with that. And it the was plague stone one. And it was actually like there was a lot of it was really fleshed out. I was actually very surprised. It's super good. Greg, I haven't heard from you. You got any opinions? Uh, don't want to DM in that crew. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> other than that, not particularly attached to this character at all. So, yeah. I'll be down for pre-made <laughs> shit. Sounds fun. Okay, okay, that's that. That was my my spiel. So I won't. Uh, I'll I'll do a little more digging and I'll let you guys know. But uh, like I said, it since that sales up for twenty five percent off, I might just grab a set of them and. Kind of what I'm yeah, thinking is chip in the, one if you want. Sure, That's true. Right? I'd, be happy, I'd be happy to chip in a few bucks. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, I think they're like so. If we go, if we go levels, like I don't want to start with one of the ones that go level one to twenty because let's be realistic, guys. Yeah. We're not gonna get there. <laughs> uh, but not gonna be played. The, the one I bought was the first book of the uh, the first book of the like uh, it's a it's a mega dungeon. So like the whole thing is based out of like one area pretty well. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's going to be easy easy to jump in sessions, and it's level 1 to 10. And there's three books, so it's like, I think I did the math on it with Max. If we split it dead even, 
uh, it's like eight or nine bucks a person. Oh, and that's nothing. Yeah. yeah. And and then if anybody wants to use it, those things are not. They don't have any DRM on them or anything like that. So we can just right. drop them in a folder for anybody. Nice. That's a good point. That'll it'll be a good good long term thing to have. Yeah. If anybody wants to run Pathfinder at some point, it's you'll you'll have ran it once and know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I could I could see a group out here wanting to get together and do something whenever you know life is a little more normal, so less weird. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I got. I'll uh, I'll go down that path. We can figure out who wants to chip in and how much later. I'm I'm not worried about it. I would the extra like twenty twenty five or thirty bucks on top of what I've already spent right now is completely worth it to me to not have to do the prep work. <laughs> so, right for sure that's for why sure. they make this so we'll, we, <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll, we'll figure that out later so let's uh let's get off you guys have just uh murderated some hobgoblins in a forest if i remember correctly you yeah took out of control i think we were outside that we were in the forest outside the palisade wall or whatever that's where i think we yeah. Left yeah off yep yeah buddy and we can get the doggo the dog. The doggo has returned. Uh, it's dog time. It is dog. Oh, God. I have to pull up that stat sheet. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pepper net. Our dog. <laughs> it's okay. I, I do this every time. We sit here and talk for like 20 minutes, and I still don't have all my books out. I feel like I should just like copy the dog's thing into the fucking info sheet somewhere. Probably. It does no. seem like a half bad idea. Just so it does that, not like, seem like a bad plan. I don't have to fuck with it. Oh god, that's so I big. You, dog. No. Oh. That dog. Dog. <laughs> that's creature minus one. Kind of okay. I don't want not bold. No, oh, maybe bold. Hey, dog, stop. I was not talking to you when I said dog. <laughs> don't lie to Luna. There we she go. Knows. Let's make it centered so it's really annoying to read. Oh, that God. is so awful. <laughs> so awful. Everything God. about this sucks. We'll make it right justified. <laughs> there we go. That's, that's better yeah, than centered. Oh, as it, turns out. it is better than centered, but it's still not great. Okay. I've got all my books ready to go, I think. So I think, let's. I think that's a good size. That's a good size. Yeah, sure. All right. Oh man. All right. This is uh since I know we are uh since I know we're flipping the pre mades this is now no holds bar. No holds <laughs> bar. I I uh -oh. I you know honestly making this character I he's already almost died a few times so you know we can <laughs> maybe not maybe he'll make it through we'll find out. We'll see. This time on Dragon Ball Z. Well, this time or next time. I don't know. It depends on how long this takes. Yeah. And what you guys do. There's still options. I turn on no clip and walk <laughs> through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I mean, that, that, that's an option. You can try. Let's see if it works. I think about it real hard. All right. So, what are you guys doing? Well, I think we, we gotta scout it out. And yeah. See what's going on. Let's reconnoiter the base, the area. Okay. So you guys, uh, you guys kind of walk to the edge of the woods where you can see in the distance. There's, uh, you know, you can see the the palisade wall in the distance, and you see some shit in front of it. Uh, but you you notice that it is it is pretty well wide open, clearing around it. Uh, not a whole lot of cover. They've they've picked a pretty flat area with a small just a small little hill where you can see the palisades raised up uh, and it's been clear cut all the way around it uh, for quite some ways and it looks like they've even been maintaining the grass. Oh, interesting. Oh boy, they're lawn mowing. Yeah, they're they're uh they're, they're mowing lawns. Is that what they're using like the dog slicers for secondary. Yep. <laughs> The dog slicer slash scythe slash lawnmower. All right. Um, 
So there's no good way to sneak around it then. They've cleared out. We, we're, I'm assuming that we're kind of like walking around and we, or like we're walking around this whole thing to where we can. Uh, so the, the tree line is to comes. the west of it. Okay. Uh, and you can see. You you can kind of you can kind of just see it's a square. It's like kind of looks like it's squared off on the corners uh, just from walking north and south in the tree line. It looks like kind of a squared off fortification. Yeah. Okay. Is there any way that we can walk around to the other side of it? Uh, you will be out of the trees. Where will you can we get be? like really far and try to go around it and approach from the other other way, but that may take quite a while. Find quite a while. Um, <laughs> depends on how fast you move. Yeah. Well, we'd want to move. Sneaky. I mean, it's so there's. Fast. Yeah, so I mean, so it's kind of it's kind of in the middle of a a plains hex. The the wood stretches to the kind of the west edge of this plains hex. Yeah, uh, and then for the most part, it's it's grassland around it. So even if you go out and around, you're gonna have to get like outside of easy line of sight. Yeah, that'll be just tough using just distance, not uh, you know, not being able to break line of sight with any any kind of obstacles. Yeah, that's tough. Um, well, how do we want to do this? So, do we wait till night and try to approach all sneaky like? Yeah, I mean, that would be our best bet if we're trying to like bull nose it. Because, I mean, so is there how hollow, like, how tall are these like walls and stuff? Like, I mean, is there any like easy way? Like, I guess I'm just saying, like, how hard will it be to actually get into their camp? Uh, John, give me just a perception check to see, you know, if you can tell. You can gauge the distance. Perception. Ooh, nat 20. 28. Woo! John's got, got eagle eyes. Does oh, him. burn that right now? <laughs> yeah. John's eagle eyes. Uh, John, you actually can see that you, uh, you look like, you're looking at the, what looks like the front of this fortification because you can see there's a kind of a little worn trail uh that leads up to what looks like a wooden gate okay uh in the center of the palisade and to the left and right of the trail which would be i guess the north and south of the trail we lost the, oh, some right. like ramshackle ramshackle tents and structures like little huts and and things uh that are kind of thrown together out in front of the palisade wall uh, and then you notice that the, you know, using those for kind of a, a frame of reference, you think the palisade wall is probably 25-ish feet high. Fuck. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I'm just thinking right now, it's like, okay, if we want to go over the wall, we're going to have to somehow scale 25 feet and be quiet about it, which we don't have a good track record of. Um... <laughs> Just, just yeah, being true. honest, we're not, we're true. not, uh, we're not, stealthy. we're not stealthy. So, no. What if we? What if we? Are those little huts? Do they look really flammable? Mm. I mean, from that distance, it's hard to tell. But you pres presumably, you know, the materials available. They're likely made of, you know, wood and cloth. We could start a wildfire outside of the gate and see what happens. Hmm. That's you an know, idea. Comes to check it out. That does appear to be our strategy of uh, <laughs> just... light shit on fire. <laughs> Smoke it out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh... if you build some wood, I got, I got the bomb. Fuck it. <laughs> I like Just it more. Smoke it out. I like it more than I like the, the idea of trying to scale the fucking thing. Um, yeah, I mean it's a lot easier if they open the door for us, right? Right. And I mean, once we're in it, we're in it. You know, the only thing I'm worried about is like we do that, and then there's just people on top of the wall, you know, firing arrows at us, and we can't do anything about it. That that would be my main concern about doing it that way. Yeah. 
Unless, um, unless they open the door and then we like bullnose in. You know what I mean? Like that literally we're waiting for them to like open the door and come out and we just fucking like bullnose the door and get in. Yeah. I like that plan. I'm fine with it. Yeah, I mean it's a little suicidal, but you know, like What do we have to lose? Uh yeah. eighty two rations. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair it's fair Onyx Dom changes hands that's about it right? like, <laughs> and Donkey oh yeah <sighs> yeah that poor Donkey okay um, that's, that's my thing I'm, I'm down for any other plans you know like we could try and find a different way in, but imagine that this place is pretty fortified, and I don't know of any other... I can't think of anything else about how they get in there. I'm just looking through all my shit, and, like, I don't see anything that's, you know, like, oh, this'll work. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, um, I don't have any other better ideas, so I'm in on it. I mean, unless you All want right, to, like, so... car bomb the, the fucking cart and just send the donkey in and then blow it up. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm out of ideas here. We could do whatever. We'll just not have a cart. So. <laughs> we could <laughs> send the donkey in with the cart and blow it up. I don't dislike that. <laughs> uh, we could try wilder and wilder. And wilder. <laughs> Can yeah. you set like, a timer on your bomb, Gregs? Can we uh, try uh, it? Or like trap it, like something where like they look at it and they pull back like the thing or whatever, it'll like trigger it. Oh, or we could, or yeah, we could hide under some sort of fuse. But... <laughs> Dude, let's Trojan horse it, man. Just everyone in the cart under a blanket. Oh yeah, just have it like kind of like just pull up or whatever, kind of just like a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I um I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the nighttime plan might be better than that one. That one's asking for trouble, but where'd that sheep costume go, boys? <laughs> yeah, where did the sheep skin we had go? I'm pretty sure. Well, mine got mine was already like ratty, and I got I think I got um, caught on fire. We sold them, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, I guess those are our options. It All involves right, so... fire in some way, shape, or form, so it's just how you want to do it. <laughs> it's the group. All right. I, I want to try to recall knowledge about hobgoblins. Um, I just okay. I kind of just want to know about their culture, like how they interact with, with you know, other, right. other uh, others. Well, let's see. Probably. Yep, we lost him. We lost. Does him. that seem right? Uh, uh, we lost you. We What'd lost you second for that. Yeah, I can hear you guys. Oh. How about now? Yeah, I, we can. I hear mean, you. we can hear you. Yeah, now. yeah. But what, what should I roll? Uh, how society feel to you? Does that feel right? Yeah, I yeah. got a one. So here, let's see. Uh, I, I got rolled it. a twelve. I got total. it. Oh, oh, oh. You like? Okay. Yep. What's your mod? One. Okay. Uh, all right, so dun, 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 dun. let me do a little quick reading here. No shit about society. Yeah, I don't really all use right. it. So you know, <laughs> their entire culture is is built upon fostering and maintaining conflict. While oh, oh we lost oh, him again. Oh, oh. Mm. This one's uh, a while. And you also know that they're very oh, militaristic. Can you not hear me? We're, yeah, we're getting getting you're kind of like cutting out at, like for like yeah. a second here and there. Yeah. Oh, it's because I have a million apps running. Hold on. Oh. Is this better? Yes. How, how about now? P potentially. Yeah, we can we can hear you. It's just yeah, <laughs> intermittent. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, apparently. Yeah, my voice is it's just not wanting to connect. I, it's like red. Hold on. Hmm. Neighbor's Wi-Fi jammer.
Uh, yes? Maybe? Uh, it's, it's green now. It likes it. Okay. You, you right. can hear me? Yeah, we can hear Just you. Just yell if I start breaking up. Okay. okay. So so we heard uh, that... Similarly devoted to war. Okay. Yep. Okay. We heard they like conflict. Uh, That's kind of... Yeah. Built on fostering and maintaining conflict while simultaneously proving superiority in battle. Uh, they're also very militaristic, tyrannical, cruel, and destructive. Um, and they... And lost them. Yeah, lost them. Highly organized <laughs> and work efficiently in groups. Oh. Okay. Can, how about now? Yeah, we're, no, you're now? good. You're good. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. They're highly organized and efficient in groups. So, <laughs> whether it be a small raiding party, roving war band, or a fully regimented army. I heard army. Fully regimented <laughs> army. Um, doesn't sound like they're very um accommodating. No, no, that was that was maybe a, a half cocked plan that's not gonna work. Yeah. yeah. Might be time to uh go I mean if yeah. I actually I'm glad you thought of it because honestly it didn't even cross my mind, but uh <laughs> it was probably worth at least thinking about. Yeah, it's like we either do the we put ourselves up in danger at the start, or we rig a bo we basically can booby trap the cart and just kind of see what happens. And maybe it doesn't work, but you know. <laughs> do you, is there any other way to lure them out? Like, could we could we build a fire in the woods, like so they see the smoke? And I mean, I don't know. Coming out to investigate might not. It might just cause us more problems. They're probably only gonna send like two people at most. Well, we kill them, and then when and then two more, you know, true, we just true. keep killing. I don't know. I don't. Know. Yeah, just like draw them, them to us instead. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Except the problem is, if they if we if we light the fires, they're gonna be on guard. Um, they be like, oh, some shit's happening, and everyone else is gonna be on guard. Or they could just be it's stupid. True. Um, I mean. Their uh, their description didn't indicate that, or the things that we could remember about them that they are. I mean, stupid. Yeah. 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 Like cause that. That's stupid. Yeah. Even like, even the goblins that we ran into. I mean, they were looking at ruins. You know. What I mean, like I don't think that they're. They might be like, a little bit zealous or something. You know, like. But I don't know that they're necessarily like non-intelligent, so to speak. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Mm. We have quite a dilemma. I know. It's, it's... I don't think there's any good answers here. <sighs> Eroy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm diddle diddle, sneak up the middle at night. I might. Yeah, I think I think that's probably our best bet. I don't like staying in the cart. I like no, having the yeah. cart go up there while we're like right outside the door, if we can make it. I guess we should observe them at night to see what happens at night. True, they could be very lax. Yeah, they they could have. Uh, oh yeah, um, yeah. Okay, that okay. So we're are we for sure waiting until nighttime? Yes. Yeah, I think we're just gonna observe them and wait till nighttime. If we're waiting, right. do we want to try and go around it, or would that take too long? You think? Also, like we'd have to go like out of line of sight and stuff. Uh, so I, I worry about like what are we gonna be able to see? But I guess I guess we might as well. Like we've got time. We've got time. Yeah, we're not really on like a a time okay. frame. Uh, maybe we. Yeah. So try here's see. what you guys see. We'll go from here. We'll just we'll say you guys you sent some scouts trying to get a work around it. Uh, as night falls, you see that uh, there's a bunch of like, like there's a cluster of small fires uh, that spring up, you know, in the middle of what look like those ramshackle shacks. Uh, and then you actually uh, you actually don't see any fires on the top of the wall or anything that you can tell. Um, oh. But Holy you do see a bunch of like you you see some light coming from you can maybe see some light coming from behind the wall like you can tell there's a there's light in there, uh, but it's not up on the wall itself. 
uh, uh, and then there are like little, there's like, like I said, some, some maybe cook fires or campfires out in those ramshackle little buildings. As you work around it, uh, you can tell that the gate is only, there's only one gate. Uh, it is a rectangular fortification. Uh, and then around the, what you can tell from around the rear of it, uh, is that there are the ramshackle little structures are only out in the front, uh, as though they, you know, have cropped up there so that they can use the gate. Uh, okay. So we can sneak around the, are there, are there like fires along the wall in the back? How does the back look from like nope. a garden perspective? Nope. It's, uh, it's dark. All right. Well, I say we sneak in the back, I guess. Yeah. Cause I mean, we could theoretically get. Yeah, yeah, I like that better. It's a long way of sneaking, but I kind of like the idea of sneak trying to sneak in than 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 just dying. Because in theory, if we get well, I mean, we could just die either way. But uh... right, but this seems a little bit more um, approachable than you know trying. It's a to... long, yeah, it's a long approach coming in from the back, right, Jared? Like we got to come from a ways out. Yep, yep. It's probably a another day's worth of of prep work and to get yourselves in position by nighttime and then try to sneak up at night. Yeah. How, how do we best sneak up? It's, it's planes. Yep. Can we, uh, how do, how do we fit color wise into the landscape? Does everyone have dark clothing? That is uh, a great question. I wear like, uh, I wear like my dark sort of reddish sort of robes. So they're really, it's like a dark maroon. It's definitely dark. It's not like fluorescent. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's uh, it's actually on your little sheet. Meanwhile, uh, I had nothing listed on mine, so I can be whatever I want. So I was wearing dark robes. Yeah, for that's sure. how that works. <laughs> you can you can just take your clothes off and be a cat, right? That's right. true. Yeah, I don't have anything either. So we're gonna I mean, mine's leather armor. armor. It's brown, so I've got a big gray wolf head. Uh... <clears throat> And then I've got leather, uh, which I assume is like, you know, dark, dark brown. Uh, Leathery tunic. color. You haven't yeah. dyed it. I have not. not I have not. not the white that's, wolf. A, that's a good future uh, thought there. If, uh, I mean, yeah. You blend in the most, probably. <laughs> Realistic. You're short. You have a wolf head. Uh, maybe. Leather, yeah. Maybe. Potentially. <laughs> kind of. Potentially. He's almost a mimic. <laughs> Uh, well, those rare planes mimics. Be careful. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, All right. So, so that's the plan. Uh, why don't you guys give me stealth checks for the night approach, and then mark off another day uh, of rations and stuff. Twenty-five. God forbid. Uh, Right. Uh, twenty. Yeah, Hunter still at the cart. That's where I'm taking him from. Oh, no. Uh, I got an eleven. Total. Total. Yep. Uh, throw him in. Uh, the I'm gonna move the hero point stuff over. Oh. Seven. So eighteen. All right. Put him in there. I have a plus seven. I rolled a four. Ouch. I rolled a four. <laughs> that comic still gets me every time. <laughs> All right. So you guys are, uh, you guys are, you know, sidling up, kind of crouching and crawling in the darkness, trying to stay small. I have cat -like. um, Okay. Uh, go ahead and get me perception checks, too. Okay. Use the same dice. Redemption. It's a four again. God damn it. Wow. <laughs> I rolled a five, so you know I that's good. I feel like your dice might. Uh... That one might not be working too hot. Uh, we'll give it a third try. Sorry, I math wrong there. Fourteen. Oh my god. <laughs> if it would have just been one, you'd have been all right. <laughs> That's uh, sad. Okay. Uh, Tusi is trying super hard to be stealthy, and he's, like, looking at his boots. Uh, <laughs> right? 
Try it. He's he's like doing little rolls, you know, like you see in action movies. Just dun 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 dun. Just flopping around out the grass. Um and as uh Lee is actually I mean he's he is being a wolf. He's up there just, you know, wandering through the wandering through the grass, slithering forward, uh keeping his eyes up. Uh and he sees uh on the wall well, you have dark vision, don't you? I do. So Lee, um, you are just uh we'll say you're fifteen, twenty feet ahead of, of Tusi. Uh and you see on the wall, you see a couple of figures uh patrolling the wall, uh walking back and forth. Uh and then uh John's up there with you, you make the hand signals at him. Uh you know, note that you you see some people. Greg nods Greg nods to you and, and uh indicates he's he's seen the sentries as well. Uh about that time uh Tusi realizes you guys are making hand signals, but he's too far behind you to see. So he kind of stands up a little bit and to look and try to see what's going on. And you see one of the guards uh, as he turns on his patrol route, uh you see him kind of kind of jerk upright. Uh and he starts to he starts to kind of look over the wall uh and point a crossbow at Tusi. Uh, and, and you hear you can't uh you can't hear him say anything yet. He hasn't raised an alarm, but he's 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 pointing a crossbow and looking. Uh we'll pull those perception checks into initiative on the other page. Rough. Everybody else was doing pretty good. <laughs> I rolled two fours. <laughs> sometimes uh, like that. Yeah, sometimes. So honestly, like stealth when everybody has to stealth is really hard because you have to have four people roll good or at least mediocre dice. Yep. Yeah. It's it seems very tough. Probably should have sent one farther ahead initially mm. and then come back. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we could have done that. Sent like a little assassin, like a little John up there. You could climb the wall, then he could take out one of the, one or two of the guards. But then if he just got caught, he just straight died. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot that can go wrong. <laughs> how how far out are we from this wall? Uh, you guys are probably about uh, we'll call it sixty feet from the wall. Oh fuck a duck. On the and we'll say you're on the uh. Just for simplicity's sake, we're gonna say you're on the north side or the uh, south side, because I didn't draw enough space on the on the rear because this map was huge. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me reveal some stuff really quick, and then you can put tokens on there. Uh, reveal area. Reveal area. Let's go. So you guys can see nothing. I can see nothing. <laughs> Why is it not actually doing anything? Yeah, come on, reveal area, dude. Let's go. Okay, oh, there we go. Oh. 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 We got something. So actually, you guys can see you've seen quite a bit in your scouting. So uh, you've got this. Yeah, there's stuff down there. It's fine. And these, uh, the grid on this might be a little off because this map is, like I said, just Huge. big. Yeah. So because that was the only way to make it even remotely work. So get it close on the grids, and we'll we'll be fine. Okay. Um. We're on the south side. South side is the top. That's not how you want <laughs> the maps. gate. The gate faces the gate faces to the west. Oh right, right, right. Fair. Yep, you guys are in that kind of in that vicinity right out there, ish somewhere in there. And my dude, two C, you're about fifteen feet farther back than everybody else. <laughs> 
everybody else kind of is in, in somewhere in this vicinity, just in a sneaky pattern. However you want to do it. And you can see the fires out there. Uh, let's put some hobs on here. So, all right. Has Lee, has Lee said, do, like, has Lee said anything about, uh, what, what, what do I know? Do I know that I'm being targeted? Because I clearly no. can't see shit. No, you're looking at Lee and Lee and John and Greg making hand signals at each other. What's the terrain out here? Is it high grass or is it like? Uh, it's it's pretty low grass. Like oh, maybe right. they cut it, right? ankle and shin. Yeah, they cleared it pretty well. They're disciplined and militaristic. Yep. And number one, the one on the left, is the one that's looking at you. Yep. Okay. Uh, then I gotta get their initiatives in here. There is no hob boss. Uh, so Lee, you're gonna go first. I am going to ready my bow with a sleep arrow. I've been carrying Ooh. it this whole time. Oh yeah. It's just Eden. for this moment. <laughs> how about how far away is he? Uh, he is. Yep, about sixty-five feet away. Oh, I got him. I got <laughs> yeah. him. Yeah. So I don't have all my fancy arrow stuff anymore, but I'm still gonna take a shot at him. <laughs> this is gonna be badass, but works. So here we go, sleep arrow. <clears throat> Hold on, I bounced off. Uh. 17. You want to try a hero point? Oh, sure, dude. Does that let me reroll, right? Yeah, it sure does. Mm, 19. Ooh. Better. Barely. Better. But his silence is screaming, not good enough. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's screaming not good enough. Lee, you got another hero point? I'll let you reroll it again. <laughs> oh, let's keep going. 25. Ooh, That'll hit him. All, All right, right, Lee's out of hero points. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Worth it. So I hit him with a sleep arrow. I don't actually know. I presume that puts him to sleep. He has to save against some... Uh... Yeah, he's got to save, but I don't know what it's against. Sleep arrow. Hold on. So you guys are, I may have made it up. Um, deals no damage, but a living creature hit by it is subject to the effects of a sleep spell DC 17. Ooh, okay. All Lord right, I let's see what his he's got to take a save. Sleep. I'm gonna look up sleep. I'm it's I'm sure it's fort or, or will one of the two. It is will. Yeah, will. 17, did John? 17, D17. Yep. Oh, okay. He, he he saves it. Um <laughs> was it just a success? Just a success. The creature takes a negative 1 status penalty to perception checks for one round. Oh, that's relevant. He might not okay. perceive me anymore. Although he did that just one, get hit. That with one still sees you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would that one sees you. Lee, that was a great idea. That was fantastic. Um, so he uh, he's going to go ahead if you've got a, the rest of your turn, Lee. I have one more action. I'm going to take a second sh uh, I'm going to take a second shot at him with a regular arrow. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I mean, at this point. I mean. So it is, hold on, yep. Uh, so that's an I'll 18. have you know Will was his lowest save, too. Yeah, eighteen. That so sounds right. Nope. No dice. Right. Okay. So uh this this hob archer is going to uh he's gonna take a shot at the target out there in the dark. Uh two how does a uh eighteen hit you? It does not. Ha <laughs> got nineteen AC. Uh he's gonna reload and he's gonna shoot again. Well, that's a uh, that one won't hit you either. Uh, and then he's gonna he's gonna yell at his buddy and say something's moving out there. 
so they're not just causing an alarm yet. They're shooting shooting at something scuttling around. They haven't quite figured out what it is. Go ahead, Greg. All right. I have an idea. I'm just going to start running around and hopefully distract them enough to where you guys can uh, can get up close to the wall. Uh, I'll just get on all I'll get on, I'll be a, I'll be a cat and just run around and pretend like I'm a little wolf or something. Okay. Um I will go Greg ahead. Greg sounds like you really bought into that plan. Did you hear it? <laughs> um, I'm going to apply some, what is this shit called? Grave root poison to my crossbow bolt and take a shot at that dude. Okay. Fortunately, I don't think there's sleep poison, but, you know. Still die. He can still die. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this doesn't hit. It's a 16. No, that's that's no dice. Okay. Um, I can reload too. That'll be my. That'll also, be my can you see? Are you? Can you see in the dark, Greg? Oh no, that's a good point. So you can see him because there's light behind him, but you'll take a, I don't know, you'll take a penalty. Call it a minus two. Yeah. Well, I missed anyway, so. <laughs> or or you can just do the, you can just do the. Uh, we can call him concealed too. That might be easier. I think that's what you're actually supposed to do. Probably. It was a literal shot in the dark. Uh, checking. <coughs> I need to learn about the poison too. Uh, also, if anybody was concerned, all those little uh, squiggles out there on the map are, are ramshackle huts and tents. What else you got, Greg? Anything? Oh, no, no, that was three. I have to apply the poison, okay. reload, and... Yep, to you whenever you're ready, John. Yeah, I was looking at, like, what high jump actually is, but it's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of crazy, actually. <laughs> um, I'm, it's a 25-foot wall is the thing. and Yeah. Um, I mean, it's like, uh, it's, it's Palisade that you could presumably... With a good climb check, you could climb it. I'm fairly stealthed right now, right? Yeah, you haven't shot at anybody yet. Yeah, you're I'm moving, still. Uh... I'm moving quiet. Um, I feel like I should just. Yeah, you you're good. Yeah, I'm good. Let's um. You're still stealthed up. Uh, concealed is D five flat check when targeting. So you just okay. roll D twenty. As long as you get a five or better, you can shoot. I can shoot. Um, the thing is, like, if I hit him with a shuriken, it's just gonna piss him off. It's not gonna like <laughs> incapacitate him. He's just gonna be like, "What the fuck?" Um, fucking ninjas out there. And also, I can only throw it twenty feet, and you said these are twenty-five feet walls, so um, awkward. <laughs> awkward. Yeah. Man, no, throw him in the wall and then climb than... on him. I think, yeah, I think what I have to do right now is I need to. Um, because this is, let's see, I have a stride of 35. I think that's where I'm at now. Mm -hmm. Wait a yeah. Yeah, so I'll take two stride movements to get up to the wall since we're like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you've got, technically, you've got 10 more feet of movement. Can I, like, use that to climb? Uh, I'll give it to you. I'll give you five extra foot of climb. Five extra feet. So that means you could, you could, you could climb twenty feet up that wall, with your, with your uh, climb action. With the climb action. So you'd basically be pretty close to the top. I'd be kind of like on the wall though, just like hugging it. Yeah, you'd be you'd be climbing the wall, and you'd be close to the top for next turn. Or I stop here and go into a stance and wait, but. You, I feel... gonna, you gonna take a stance, motherfucker? <laughs> It'd be kind of crazy. Uh, I'll just. Love it. Well, yeah. Do have I? Do I? Do I think that they've clocked me like running up to the wall? Uh, you're pretty sure that they are still shooting at Pixie. Out. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, then I will just try and, um... I'll just try and climb up the wall. Okay. Give yeah. me that sweet, sweet climb check. Uh, climb. What's that, Lex? Uh, yeah. Um, I have assurance in that, so that would be... That'd be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. You're gonna take 10? I'll take the 18, yeah. Okay. John, uh, John gets 20 feet up the wall. He's just hanging there. All right. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. so this other, this other archer, uh, is going to, uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, is that what he gets? Yeah, so he's going to kind of run down here so he can uh, hear his buddy better. And see what he's pointing at. Uh, and then he's going to take a shot at you as well, too. See? Sticks out. Yeah, that one's going to hit. Uh, how does 28 do? It's not a crit, right? No, it is only 9 higher. Okay. <laughs> That's what you like to hear, isn't it? Not a crit. Yeah. Oh, uh, Jesus. Okay. Um, so you're going to take a solid 13, Deuce. And then he's yeah. going to reload his crossbow. All right. I'm at 22. Go ahead. All right. It's my turn. All right. So I'm going to run. I'm going to I'm gonna stand up and stop being sneaky. Well, I'm going to... I'm going to still stay on all fours um, and attempt to appear like a... Uh, like an animal. Yep, okay. Um, and I'm going to run this way. 5, 10... I don't know. This is probably 25 feet, give or take. Yeah, that's um, good enough. And then I'm going to cast a level 2 heal on my... Level... Eh. I'm going to cast a level 2 heal on myself. Um, can I do it sneaky? I mean, the spell they're, description they're, on heal set. They're pretty far away from me, but uh, yeah, let me does let me read make that. Does it a light? Right? Like, what kind of components does it have? Oh, it's it's got um, it's got all the components. Oh, it's got all the things. All right, you channel positive energy to heal the living, uh, heal the living or damage of the undead. Um, it's so if it's a, it's just a somatic, um component to it uh, because I'm just touching okay. myself um, so Ooh. you know it okay uh, I buy it all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that just give myself a little bit of hit points uh, and I'm gonna try to behave as rat like as possible uh, all right I'll take five HP back just so I don't get one shot by a fucking crossbow hopefully and I'm at 27 okay That'll be back to the top. <clears throat> um, I guess I'm gonna already get my bow out. I guess I'm gonna take two shots. It won't be the double shot stuff, but I'll take two shots at the guy that uh, John is going after. So, uh, first shot uh, is gonna be 26. Uh, sorry, that'll hit. Okay. I was just sitting here twiddling my no, thumbs. Okay. Uh, <laughs> six, six damage. Big six, okay. Yep. And then the second shot, uh, 14. That one will not hit. And then I'm gonna move up uh, with my last action. Alright, I g go ahead. I'm gonna do this, okay. this archer. So at this point, this archer has realized uh, that something is wrong. He shouldn't be taking an arrow from a. Uh, he shouldn't be taking an arrow from you know a, a creature that's roaming around out there. He sees that there's a real problem, so he's gonna take a shot at Lee, who shot at him. Uh, Lee, what's your AC? Uh, twenty-one. All right, it'll hit. Uh, Lee, you're gonna take fourteen. Okay. 
uh, and then you see him uh, throw a bolt in his throw a bolt in his uh, get back in his crossbow as he takes off running uh, and disappears. John, you can hear him clattering down what sounds like a ladder, like here ish. Okay. Yeah, you hear him kind of off to the. He went to your uh, left down in there. Down here somewhere. Okay. Yep. You can. That's where you can hear the footsteps. Okay. You can't still see that token, can you? No. Okay, good. All right, uh, Greg, you go ahead and start your turn, and uh, I gotta go let my dogs out. Let's okay. go outside. Come on. Well, assuming the there's nothing to actually see me again directly. I'd probably attempt to, like, re-stealth up, since it is dark. And just move up to the wall, because that should be five. Good thing I still have a rope. Yeah, because I assume we're going to go in at this point. <laughs> we're, we're committed. We're pretty yeah. committed, yeah. And there, there was some commitment that happened there, boys. <laughs> Lee firing that second arrow really, uh, really did the trick there. <laughs> didn't have uh, to it was that. actually damaging him. Kind of pissed him off. I actually got exactly Still a little the same stuff check, so. <laughs> Couldn't be. Okay. Good. Yeah, you're you're good, Greg. You're you're rehidden. You're okay. That'll be the turn then. All right. Who's next? I think it's uh, it John. Me. Yes. Um. So I'm like what five feet from the top. Yep. So you'll if so you'll get uh, assuming you take your ten again, uh, you'll get it'll take you ten feet of movement to climb the remaining five feet. Okay. And so I'll have twenty five left. Yeah, and then five basically five to get onto the wall, like to move forward five feet. So you have twenty feet of movement once you get once I stabilized get on, on the wall. Okay. Okay. Yep. So, if I climb up, can I get into either one of these, like, three squares here? Or is it only the one directly in front of me? I am. You can get into any of those three right in front of you. I'm not at my computer, though. I'm still down here with the dogs. Okay. I have to ask the real question. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. John, when you crest the wall, you're going to see that the, uh, the wall kind of runs... It kind of runs left and right into what look like some little towers. Uh-huh. Uh, and you can see there is some light down on the inside of the, uh, on the inside of the fortification. So you okay. That other one, uh, running, like running down, uh, to, the, to your left behind, he's getting ready to go behind a building. And there's little towers, uh, to your left and right on the corners that have ladders, uh, that have ladders attached to the, to the sides of them. I'll reveal it in a minute when I get back upstairs. Yeah, I'm going to wait until you do that to kind of decide my next move because I want to see what I see first just to, like, assess the situation. <laughs> 30 dudes. <laughs> you see me vault off the wall. <laughs> run! <laughs> get out, get out! Just a hard no. <laughs> run, 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 run. <sighs> the thing is, I need to get right. you guys in here. Um, right, and this I is have, the hard part. I have yeah. a rope, you know, but the thing is, I also have this dude up here, so, you know, it's... It, it feels like this is the siege, right? <laughs> I want my buddies up here, but I also have to fight this guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, I just got the dogs in. They're begging me for a treat, and then on back upstairs. Alright, sit. Both of you. Sit. You too. Can you reveal maps only to certain people in this? Uh, probably. But I'm, I'm not sure I know how to do it. Yeah, I was just wondering if that was actually, like, a thing, like... I don't know. I know you can with the tokens, but I don't know if you can with the map. Okay, I get what you're saying. Oh, damn it. I left the light on. I gotta make dark vision potions. Probably should have... Things that could be useful. Wait, what? I forgot I could make dark vision stuff potions. Oh. <laughs> well, you gave me drink heart mm. potions, you know. I did. I yeah. already have them at zero <laughs> mine. So. Yeah. Okay, so John, here's what you're seeing. Uh, the areas. 
so you can kind of see that. Ignore okay. the inside of that. Yeah, but th this is like the like uh just this is like the um the bottom There's like, like the ground level, right? Yes, that's ground level. Okay. And those little those little things, the squiggles. Yeah. Are those the ladders? These are the ladders. Okay. Yep. I need to deal with this guy on the fucking thing, so I'm going to. Fuck. If I stance and move, I can get to him, but then I can't do anything else. Or. I stand here, pull a Drake card out and drink it, and then just like see if I can take a round here. But I, I, you know, I'm just trying to think what would be the best move here. I feel like I want more AC because I'm going to take a shot. Uh, I'm going to take a hit anyway. The thing is, is just I feel like this dude's going to either shoot me or shoot me and then run. Does he see? I guess you're standing yeah, up. So I'm standing. Probably... Yeah, I just came over the wall. I guess does he see me or is he looking out over the thing? Oh, he. Uh, so when you popped over the wall, he he jerked jerked upright and uh, and was was real surprised. Right, he well, was. Uh, good. So I think even you what you call, him. he's so surprised he was flat footed. I think oh. I think you bum rush him. I bum rush. Yeah, I think so too. I think I think, I think you bum rush him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. I won't have time to really stance. I feel like I should just go up and hit him. So I agree. Yeah. Um, that uh, is I... 35 feet. I think we measured. Yep. And you still yep. got some movement there too from the previous, but it won't matter. Oh, that's right. But yeah, so I'm gonna get up there to him. And I guess I can. I think I can only. Oh, I can flurry a blows with just unarmed, like just yep. my fist. Yeah. So we'll do that. I'll flurry a blows him. Just my fist attack, so. First one is. Nice. One, two. 28. That'll hit. Alright, second one is a 21. Nope. Bad. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, because he's flat footed. Oh, nice. Okay. So this will be 46 plus 6. God, John's gonna just start blending stuff. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, big numbers. All right. Uh, that's uh, 12, 18, 24 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Go up and you, uh, crack his skull. You, you sock, <laughs> socked all eight off in the jaw, <laughs> so to speak. All right. So you, you hit him. Hit him real good. All right. All right uh, he he is up though. Uh, I mean, yeah. hit real good. Uh, he's going to drop his crossbow, draw the short sword on his belt, and try to stab you. Mm -hmm. How does a 24 seem? That does hit me. You will take 5 damage. Ow. Uh, and then he is done. Okay. Uh, no, he can attack again because he dropped his crossbow. Oh, yeah. He goes clattering to the ground. Uh, so that is a... 25 yes for five damage now no six damage sorry now all right now he's done okay go ahead Tuesday well you bought everybody at this one point, extra turn to close yeah at this point the jig is up so I am how far away am I burn a hole in the wall Be like 70 or 80 solve my problem <laughs> um, 80 foot 80. I move 25. Yeah, give it a I get up 75 ish, maybe. We'll call it 75. Yeah, all right. So if I move 75, I'm just gonna book it and end up on the wall. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I've slammed, slammed my back to the wall. I'm here. Did you, did you immediately like cup your hands, like, hey, I'm gonna toss you up the wall and look at Greg? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I'll give him one of those. I don't even know if All I can right, make Lee, it with my movement, TBH. Uh, I guess I'm going to head up toward the wall. And 
then, I mean, all, it's all my movement, so to get there. <laughs> so that's, that's it. it. That's it. Oh yeah, you're you got stumpy legs. Don't I you? got stumpy legs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this uh, John, out of the corner of your eye, you see this guy disappear around the corner. This dude. Yep. Okay. He gone. Yep. Hmm. Concerning. Uh, go ahead, Greg. All right, I'm gonna attempt to use Tusi's hands as a foothold on my way up. You gonna so make an athletics for a jump? Yeah, it's 25 there, and then I have five plus the. What, what do you need from me, Jared? Five will get you there. Ooh, that was actually good. For me, that's pretty good. What'd you do? 15. On a jump? Yeah. I have uh, negative one. <laughs> Can I do acrobatics instead? Um, is it acrobatics actually? I don't think so because it's climb, but I don't know if it has some sort of. No, I'm looking for balance. No, yeah, maneuver in flight. Probably not. Yeah, athletics is kind of. So you can uh, jump. You can jump shit. vertically three whole feet, Greg, as it, with leap the basic yeah, action. That sounds right. Uh, so you're going to make a, you, so you can just leap, you get three feet. So Tusi, why don't you make an athletics check to see if you can talk, how far you can toss him. All right. I got and an 18. Then, then 18. Plus one. So 19. Okay. So, uh, so you throw Greg, he actually ends up going, uh, he goes just less than 15 feet in the air. Uh, so he's a, he's 15 feet up the wall, and Greg will use your athletics check to say that you uh, you caught the wall and you are now starting your climb 15 feet higher. So you've only got nice. you've only got 10 more feet of wall to climb. Okay. So I have 20 feet of movement in this move action. So that'll what? get you to the top of the wall. Okay. <clears throat> That's two. And moves you have one more action. Or two strides, yeah. Yep. So and your then... next stride, you can you can get over the wall and and, and move wherever you want to. Uh, I mean, oh yeah, I'm assuming I can't shoot because I probably didn't have my crossbow. Yep. You basically, uh, you you could basically take a take a move because you still had to pull yourself up on the wall and and move the feet out and all that jazz. Well, I'll go one, two, three, four, five over here and see if I can see down this corridor where that guy went. I guess I can't see very far, though. Actually, I don't think I can yeah. see farther than So there's, lo there's some low light inside. There's some torches, kind of, uh, torches and stuff in the middle, like around this, this big build, or this big building that you're about to see. See, on the corner of this building... You can see a torch uh, kind of hanging off the, the corner of this, like, keep-looking structure. Yeah. It's about to be a hold the, hold the ladders encounter. All righty. John, that'll be to you. I meant I didn't do the stunning fist thing last turn. Um, okay. I'm Does in, it always go off? It goes off when I hit with Flurry of Blows. Okay. Uh, uh, let's it's see. It's a DC fort 19 save. fort save. Yeah. Uh, plus. I'm sure he's fine, but. Uh, barely. He is fine. Barely he's fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, great. In that case, I'm going For to. Hex trick. Hmm. What type of armor are all these guys wearing? Just like. Um, you they are wearing scale mail scale mail they're armored up yeah uh i'm just wondering versus bludgeoning versus slashing if it matters i don't think it does yeah i don't think it does either yeah 
Uh, I'll stumbling stance. Let's just do that. Okay. Uh, that's my first action, and then I will flurry of blows. Watch okay. A 28. That will hit him. And the second one is a 16. That one will miss him. Okay. Do 2d8 plus 3. Uh, 10 bludgeoning damage and another DC 19 fort save. Uh, he critically fails it. Uh, he critically failed it. Okay. In that case, he is stun three on a critical failure. Oh, Jesus. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, He's losing his whole turn. <laughs> so if he stunned three, what's that effectively mean right now? He loses his next three actions. Yeah, which is his whole turn. You just fucking sucker punch the shit out of every time. <laughs> you yeah. locked him. I'm just wondering if I could, like, throw him over the wall right now. Oh. Because. There's a, there's a throw, isn't there? Is that, is that um, what? It, what I'm it, sorry, it's a grapple action of some sort. Shove under uh, athletics. Shove, I, guess, yeah. I don't know if you can do it sideways, though. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. Let's see. Uh, I mean, John just punched him in the face. He could. Yeah, I guess it just says it. away. It doesn't specify. Yeah, it just Page says. Page two forty three. Yeah, I pushed my target back five feet. Uh, the target can't just... be more than one size larger than me. Attempt and a leg check versus your target's fortitude DC. All right, here we go. Here's stunned. You've become senseless. You can't act while stunned. Stunned usually includes a value which indicates how many total actions you lose, possibly over multiple turns for being stunned. Um, each time you regain actions, reduce the number you regain by your stun value. Uh, if you were to stun four, you would lose all three of your actions and then one on your next turn, yada, yada, yada. I don't stun think it like gives you a duration. To this check. This yeah, but I mean, I think if the question is just the, the guy became senseless, uh, is the. Uh, yeah, that's sort of what I'm wondering. So it's like, it, you know, I guess it's still, if I'm shoving him right, it's against his, whatever, his fort, fort DC. Fort DC. Fort is he in a move of object? The fort DC not? is just, is fort DC just his fort bonus plus 10? Can somebody look I that guess. up really quick? Uh, let's look. I think so. that's pretty, I feel like that's I the, think that's the not, I think that's what it is for most things. DCs, yeah, are just plus 10 on this. Yeah, your bonus plus ten. It's just, it, it's just yeah. like a stat check. Does it have level or anything, or just Fort DC nope. is just? Oh, it might okay. be. Your bonus on a monster probably includes the level and stuff. Uh, yeah, it should. Otherwise, it's con plus whatever trained expert. Yeah, I, I'm, is, that that is your bonus though, right? So if you already okay. have a bonus, yeah. that's what yeah, it's yeah, calculated yeah. from. Okay. Um, since John just stuckered the shit out of him, I'll give him a minus one. Minus one? Okay. Oh, John. <laughs> mm, now, the real question is, so is, what is shove? Is that athletics? Yeah? Yes. So I can either do, I have, I feel like they're meaty boys, and I'm worried that if his DC, so if it's 10 plus, I mean, my DC is 19, so I'm just, it's probably that or bigger. Right, and I have 18 for, so I feel like I have to roll on this. So I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna try and do, it. I'm gonna try and shove him off the wall. And I have a plus right, eight to athletics. So here we go, boys. Big money. To figure out if the fall damage is actually worth it or not. Ooh. It's half the distance you fall. I got a 13. So like, 12, so that's 13, 13 plus eight. 13 total. 13 plus oh. eight, 21. Yeah. Okay. So John pushes him. He flips over the edge of the, the little crenellation. The edge of the wall there. Hell yeah. Uh, I don't uh, know how falling damage works. Off. Is it half the damage? So half the it's half the distance he falls. Yeah. Okay. So fall over thirteen. Thirteen damage. Right. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, a dude falls over the the wall. Yeah. Just there. Yeah. Thud. I'm like. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There's a there's okay. a large crunch. Uh, and this dude, you hear this just awful groan, and this guy's just laying prone, just kind of like rolling around, trying to get trying to get his feet under him. John, are you done? Do you have anything else? That, that's you don't, it. That, that's the third. Yeah, that's the third. Okay, yeah, so that guy that guy manages to get up to his hands and knees 
uh, too. So you see him just kind of like roll around, gets to his hands and knees. He looks like shit. Looks like he's been thrown off a 25 foot wall. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Tusi. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead for the kill steal. Yep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Doing what I do best. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with an elemental toss. Um, I figured you'd run over there and kick his face in. Like, come on. Yeah, well, I'm Stab. trying to. Get, I need to. I need to get up. So is the problem. <laughs> so I can't. I can't waste a bunch of time trying to kill the. Oh fuck <laughs> me. I rolled a one, boys. Oh uh, no. I mean, you could. Uh, you missed him. Could hear yeah. avoid it. I, I could hear. Do I even have? I don't even know if I have a hero point. I spend my hero points. That's true. Oh, I do. I do. Um, I don't one. know if this would be the time for it, but you know. Nah, this is the time for it because okay. I think I ought to kill. I ought to kill him if I if I, if I do get a hit. There we go. So that's a twenty-two. That will hit. All right, and he takes nine, ten, eleven damage. Oh. Yeah, he dies. <laughs> what a what a bad way All right. to go. <laughs> so I'm just I just turned and roasted him, and then now I'm gonna turn my efforts to start climbing, because uh, that was only one action, yeah. and I'll uh, try to use a climb action. So what do you need from me? Thanks. Oh Jesus, I can't roll for shit today. I got a nine. Okay. <laughs> uh, where does, where does that put me? Uh, oh, I gotta look. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm know, gonna use this. Is... I think it redu just reduces the distance you can climb if you didn't, like, just completely fuck it up. Because you didn't completely fuck it up, you just fucked it up. No, That's you move it. up or down on an incline unless particularly the GCs determines the nature of the check. Um, okay. Four. So, yeah, if, you, if my speed is... Um, uh, interesting. Doesn't give you... <laughs> you failed it. Yep. Critic or failure, you fall if you begin to climb on a stable ground, you fall and land prone. <laughs> so what was it on, on failure, Tusi? Didn't say. Uh, th that was just critical failure. Yeah, it does actually not have a failure. Yeah. So I must just fail to climb up. Yeah, I guess my my assumption is he just doesn't climb. Let's see. Um, the well, success moves you. The success is the move. I'm gonna try it again, and uh, this time I yeah, got you just don't move. Yeah, you just don't so, move. Yeah. You gotta wait. Sixteen. All right. There you go. All right. How That's, far up? Uh, am I? You get five feet per twenty feet of your land speed. Oh god, so I basically only made it uh five feet. So what's your what's your speed? Your total speed? Twenty five. Twenty five? Yeah, so it's ten feet is what you climb up. Oh, okay. Okay. So I climb up ten feet. So I'm hanging there ten feet in the air. Got it. Yep. That's the turn. He's a climber. <laughs> He's doing it. He's doing a climber. it. <laughs> Alright, uh, back to the top, Lee. Uh I guess I'm gonna climb the wall. So, athletics check? Yep. I uh, got a 22. Lee will critically succeed. Wow. Okay. Critical success. You move up across or safely down the incline for 5 feet plus 5 feet per 20. So... So you can move movement, side to side. My movement is only 20. So I would move up... 10 10? Yeah. Yep. How, how tall so was the wall again? again? 25. Uh, 25. Oh, God. Uh, I got 16 on that one. That'll succeed. So you're five feet from the top, Lee. You can do this. Okay, last roll. Here we go. Yep, 19. Yep. So you have wow. five feet. You have some movement left. Uh, you've got 10 feet of movement left when you get to the top. I feel like you should go on the other side toward the ladder. Like there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you hear, uh, you hear some, some hollering and scrambling from inside this building. Uh, and some some metal banging around and some stuff. 
uh, go ahead, Greg. So, what's this building made out of? Is it also wood? Yeah, it's it's like uh, it's like logs, like full on like cabin log cabin style. Debating on just lighting a bunch of torches and throwing them at it. Yeah, I'm fine put, with it. Fine ground, like in here. Is it grass or is it is it more like paved something dirt? It's like so there was grass there at some point in time, but it's I mean, there's been like booted feet walking around for some time. It's pretty, pretty chewed up. That is dirt. Do the okay. biking method. I'm trying to figure out what a throw is. I'm looking. I guess it's just like a throwing attack. I assume because I don't see any like action for that. Yeah, it'd be the same as like a thrown weapon. You just yeah, wouldn't get okay. any proficiency. Probably. Where's the torch? Did I really not make a torch? I barely did not, because it's inside the pack. Torch. You use an improvised weapon. I'm assuming my bombs don't catch things up in fire, probably? Maybe? I don't know. Are they fire bombs or whatever? What are they? They are fire bombs. I mean, don't they do I mean, like they give you persistent burn damage. damage to people. Yeah. True. So I would say yes. Fuck it, let's throw a bomb. I assume I still have to roll an attack of. Yep. Don't roll a one. Nope, I rolled a 17 plus 9. Ooh. So, 26. All right, Greg hits the, uh, the corner of the building with a bomb up near the roof where it's a little more thatchy. Uh, and you can see that the fire uh, toward the bottom there where it's mostly bark and stuff, it, the fire just kind of, it doesn't really catch. Uh, but some of that jelly inside the alchemist fire catches onto the wood and even more of it licks up into the kind of the thatchy roof. Uh, and there's definitely a fire starting on this building. And then I'll uh, I'll squeeze past Lee here, try and get in the corner over here, and then draw my crossbow. Actually, let's stay off the edge. <laughs> I'm assuming there's no like inner wall, right? It's just like a straight walk. Yeah, right? there's there's not really like a railing or anything. It's it's kind of a fall. Okay. I'll try it and like stay off the edge so I'm not just an open target. Yep, seems good. You don't want to be thrown off the wall at Hobgoblin, huh? I do. Uh, go ahead, John. So there's no door on this side, right? The the side that I can see. Correct. Okay. Um, I am going to take out one of the Drake Heart Mugens and go ahead and drink it. That's two yeah, actions. Seems good. Help me up. Help me up. Um. <laughs> well, that's kind of forgot. Actions, but oh, yeah. Up here. Yeah, we need to help you up. That's right. Well, I can rescind. Like, here, I'll come over here. Let's rescind what I'm doing. I'm gonna come over here and uh, okay. Take the rope out my pack and like, basically like brace and like you know, drop yep. in a line. Yeah. Got it. That'll be my turn. Okay. I think that's I love three it. actions. I don't know. That seems like yeah, three that's actions. Three. Yeah, that's Yeah, it feels like three actions. <laughs> Lee, go ahead. All right. Um, I'm going to put my bow down uh, on my back, you know, and, and get my uh, silver-plated short sword and rapier out. So there's, there's okay. an action. Uh, the next action, since I have dark vision, I'd like to look as much as I can here and relay that information to the other guys. Okay. So... You can see, Lee, with your dark vision. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, how about a 19? All right, cool. So, Lee, you can see, uh, with that big burst of fire that Greg threw, 
Uh, you actually see down this way. I was just making a torch. That was my only goal. Th yeah, you yeah. can. Uh, you can. Oop, that's that's like a line. I draw that little like penis on that guy. <laughs> you can see another another hobgoblin with a crossbow. Uh, he's sort of running along the wall. Uh, towards you guys uh looking at the fire he, he doesn't like he's made you guys out yet he, he sees something's wrong and he's heading your way okay um and then you also you can see I'll go ahead and reveal this a little bit here so you can see down this way you can tell there's another tower down there um and then just looking around you can see there's like a little walkway on this side that's what it looks like uh this looks like a little open courtyard area is about what you can see kind of poking your head and moving around Greg and stuff um so you right now there's not just a whole lot else as far as enemies running around the courtyard uh you can see there's ladders at you know kind of evenly spaced interval down the wall mm -hmm. uh and you don't see anything else moving around on the ground you you caught them with just their just their patrols up okay it seems My, like uh... the end of the day my last action is going to be to hunt the guy I see running down the wall over there. All right. He, you got him hunted. Okay. That's it for me. At least taking care of that dude. His stubby little legs. <laughs> All right. I got a... Okay. Oh, man. He's out there. Did he we is skip TC? I feel like I got skipped. Yeah. 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 Yep. We totally did. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to climb up. I, I just, I, okay, just I, skipped, I skipped the bad guy too. So we'll do two seed uh, and the bad dude. Unless you want me to go with the bad guy first, too. It's up to you. Um, who's supposed to go first? Um, I think he is. All right, we'll just go with him. We'll do it. We'll do the thing. Yeah. Uh, so Lee, if you want to do something different after this, you're welcome to. I mean, I think I'll do this. I think I'll do the same thing but we'll see. I doubt it. Oh, okay. Well, maybe not. We'll see. Okay. All right. So this guy, uh, he's going to be, he's, you hear him, uh, you hear him bellow an alarm as he charges out, uh, charges out of this little, around, back around the corner, uh, and he levels his crossbow as he turns, and he's going to take a shot at the first available, which is Greg. Uh, he's going to critically miss, and... Uh, he won't reload because he's just baffled that he missed that bad. Uh, and then, as he bellows the, as he bellows the, uh, the alarm, you you can leave. You actually see uh, some more hobgoblins armed with the. Uh, these look like the ones with swords and shields uh, come staggering out of this building behind him. Uh, they look still a little disoriented, like they've just been asleep. There's a whole, there's a whole bundle of him running, run, a whole bundle of them running out behind him. They do they all have scale mail on? They are in hide. Okay. As it turns out. Okay. Does the one who bellowed, uh, does he have a shield? He does not. He has a crossbow. That's fucking five of them. I guess I'm going to change what I was doing then. I, I saw that little guy over here on the right side, Jared. Yeah. All right. So we burn the ladders and go back over the wall. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I've got the rope ready. I mean, you know. I, I mean, if you keep setting fires, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. No, it's not. I mean, if I set a fire to the gate... And then we just hold ladders. We might be okay if they don't have ranged weapons. The gate's all the way over here. Yeah, I mean, we'd have to kind of book it. But if there were like, a guard on every corner, though, there's going to be like four or five archers, too. Yeah. Yeah. Still a lot of dudes. Uh, okay, I got I'm popcorn. It's a. Uh, gonna be. We're gonna go to the top. It's gonna be it, Lee. Well, it's two C, right? He hasn't. Oh yeah, two. It's gonna be two C and then Lee. Okay. I rolled a. I rolled a fifteen on my athletics, so I got a sixteen. You're um, good. 
Uh, you can go all the way to the top, grab the rope, climb up. All right, John's I'm help. Up. You're getting additional additional stuff. Welcome. Okay. I I'm now surveying the situation, and I still have no idea what the fuck to do. Uh, so is, it's a twenty foot, twenty five foot fall downward. Yep. Okay. Um, we can't see what's going on on this building thing in front of us, or is it just like a wall? Uh, so where were you talking about? Like here? Yeah, directly in front of me. What, yeah, what is that? Yeah, this is the building. That's that. That's a building with a little thatch, like with a thatched roof. It's uh, it's about twenty twenty five feet high. It's almost even with the wall. Uh, okay. Well, and I, there's no. It's probably not are there no. That high. Are there no windows or anything in it? No, you don't see any windows on the building. Okay. Um, are you saying it's twenty to twenty five foot drop? Yep. All right. Um, I'll go down. I'm going to hop over the edge. <laughs> oh, bold. Go ahead. Um, you just going to jump? Yeah, basically. Are you going to like uh, do like a hang and fall? Um, I can do a hang and fall. I don't think it's going to save me much else damage because what? It's 25 feet. How tall are you? I'm a uh, I'm six foot, I think. No, nah, yeah, I'm like five like, foot. Like half half jet? catch it to fall easy yeah yeah I, I take half fall damage okay so like with your we'll say with your uh if you hang it's eight foot less you're dropping all right so 25 minus eight uh and then over two would be eight and a half over two would be four and a quarter yeah so four you'll take four fall damage all right Worth so i'll do that and take four fall damage Worth it. uh not near not nearly as cool um <laughs> But all right, uh, so now I'm over here. I see that this thing's on fire. I've climbed up. I've climbed over. Uh, I'm going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and kind of perch up on this corner uh, of the, the building. The on fire? Uh, I'm going to get close to it, uh, but I'm not going okay. to get up. I mean, like... it's, it's, it's not on fire at ground level. Like, it's on fire like 12 feet above you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's why I'm going to get closer to it um, and uh, see how that goes. See if I can okay. eventually I'm gonna start seeing around the corner and see if we can hold these guys in uh, right around the ladder point. But yep, that's where I'm at. Okay, go ahead, uh, Lee, to the top. All right. Did you different thing? Which guy did you what? end up wanting to hunt? You wanted to hunt this one? It doesn't. No, it doesn't matter. I'm not hunting anybody right now. I've got different plans. Things changed. All oh, right. that's right. Yeah, thing, right. the situation right. has changed. I have in my possession another special arrow. <laughs> I have a centipede poison arrow I've been hanging on to for a oh, long time. Yeah. I'm going to get it goes. out. I'm going to take a shot at the guy who has the crossbow. He's dumb. Okay. He's demi armor. So uh, here we go. Centipede poison arrow shooting at him. Uh, 26. That will hit him. Shit. Okay. So I don't Do know the rules on that. Yeah, I got. Yeah, look up centipede poison for him. Somebody doesn't know what I'm gonna shoot. Uh, uh, um, DC 17 fortitude. Uh, it'll be D6. He fails on stage it. one. The one D6 poison damage on stage one. Okay. And then one okay. D8 uh, and flat put it on two. Okay. And there's a third, but. You know, we'll see. All right, Lee, how much damage? Uh, I got six. it. Five is poison. Six. six. Six damage, yeah. Okay. For the arrow. Um. Yeah, I got his poison. Okay. And then. Uh, you, nah, you you roll it. You might you might have better luck than I did. Well, what was I rolling for poison? A D six. D six. You got a five. That's way better than I did. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put my bow away and get out my short sword and rapier. And okay. uh, for my third action, I'm gonna move over to the top of the ladder. All right. That'll be it. <laughs> okay. I gotta get another hob archer right in there. Get in here. Hold on. Oh, 
I'll just make this top archers because I'm rolled one off and it won't matter. Okay, so this dude is going to. At this point, he heard the alarm. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 90, 75. He has hustled up here and he now sees what's going on. Uh, and he does not like it. Uh, this other dude who's poisoned, so he's going to take a fort save. He's going to pass his fort save, so he's not poisoned anymore. Uh, he's going to take a shot at Lee. Uh, Lee, how does a 25 do? Uh, I got 21 AC. Okay. Uh, you're going to take 10 damage. Uh, and then he is going to reload on the run, and he's going to take cover on this corner. Wherever that square actually is. He's taking cover on the corner. All right. Uh, okay. So, John, out of the corner of your eye, you see... Uh, you see a group of Hobbs start to run around the corner of the building. Boy. Oh, fuck. Uh, you see one of them. One of them's <laughs> up. And he manages to run and get up the ladder. Okay. Are we losing uh, our right. night boys? Greg, you're up. Kind of feels like it. Woo. Okay. This is going to be I don't think something. my two splash damage AoE is going to save us from this. <laughs> <laughs> um, Guess I'm going to have to go hard. Fuck it, though. Uh, two, three, four, five, and that should put me in 30. So, All right, so maybe I can go around the corner. You can see some yeah. stuff because everything's on fucking fire now. Okay. Give me a second. I gotta redraw that because it was catching the inside of the building. So you see a large group of hobs. Did I lose you? No, no, nope. Nope. no. Nope. You're good. Nope. I know it's just, more. It's just shock. Yeah, yeah. Mostly no, shock. I was waiting bad. for the and a troll or and a something, you know. No, just a, a large, large group of hobs. Large group of hobs will be fine. All right, so I can throw a bomb at the hobs. I cannot throw a bomb at the ladder. Okay. I was debating on the ladder. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, Tusi's already kind of down there, though. But... Yeah, but. I have the AOEs, so if they come around the corner and stuff, uh, it's playing right into what I was going for. So. Okay. I'm going to toss a bomb at the, the archer one. Okay. Whoa. 15 plus 9 is 24. That will hit. Yeah. Uh, damage. John's trying to measure out how exactly far he needs to go. Figure this out right now. How am I going to so, fuck this dude up? <laughs> that'll be eight, including the splash. Eight, you said? Eight, including the splash, yep. And then the two persistent that he'll have to check for. Um, and then I'm actually just going to... I lost my mouse. Uh, I'm going to move back to where I was uh, with my third. Is it? All right. This group of Hobbs. I gotta get back to my selector tool. So this one's gonna run around the corner and he's gonna see to see and engage him with all of his actions. This oh, one's gonna go so to the many. base of the ladder. This one's gonna go up that ladder. They fucking get guy. fast. 
They're just sprinting. Their shit's on fire. <laughs> True. That's fair. Uh, that guy's going to stay kind of away from the fire. Like that. That's how they're going to do it. All right. Uh, John, you're up. Um, I'm going to like... Well, I'm going to drink that Drakehart Mugen. Seems like a solid play. Yeah. And... I thought you did that last turn. No, because I no, got you, you, up, you up. Oh, you had to use all three, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, you will say you drew it last turn, John, so you can have two actions. Okay. Um, While you were digging in your bag, you grabbed your rope and your Drake cart. Right. Okay. So we'll do that. Oh. I didn't look at the map until just now. Yeah, there's a whole other building that could possibly have the same amount of hobs in it. Yeah. Oh, no. I was just looking directly in front of me. In an approximate 15 cone foot <laughs> cone. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. I didn't uh, see those other guys. <laughs> to be fair, we don't technically know that, but you know. <laughs> oh yeah, you know it by now. So I'm just thinking I either pull back and let him single file down this thing, the edge. And that way we can all be together. Or I can hold the line over here. Um, I mean, I would I would stay close-ish to us so that I can run over to you and touch yeah, you. Yeah, like if I need help. You need some healing, yeah. Yeah. So let maybe them, let them, here's let what I'm them gonna, spend their actions moving. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm still in stance. I've got two actions left. I'm going to pull into my pouch and take out the dog statue. I'm going to summon the dog down here next to TC. Oh. Yeah, just give it a toss yeah. over the edge. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I set it down. I think I can, like, yeah, I can, like, call it wherever I think or whatever. I forget what the exact Yeah, word. well, we'll just oh, like, say he's going to dog over to TC. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, doggo is I next to you. It. See. All right, I'll take the dog. Yep, I think, or, that's, or do... I think that's two actions for me to like pull out the thing and activate it, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So yep. that's it. And I'm gonna go hold here. So. Dog. I got a dog. He's got a dog. You're not alone, Tis. All right. That was cats and dogs. That... Yeah, cats and dogs. Oh lord. All right, go All ahead, Tis. Right. Well, one in Rome. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a little heal, level one spell heal. All right. Um, and then I'm gonna. He's gonna take a swing at you as you start finger waggling. Does he get to do that? Yep, he does. That's rude. Oh shit. Uh, he did it real good too. Where's my die at? Son of a bitch, okay. 18? 18, 18 damage or 18 AC? Yeah, 18 damage. He crit. Oh, yeah, okay. Ouch. Well, he's, I'll heal... He stabs I'll heal, you in the belly. I'll heal six of that, I guess. Um, and take 12, go to 11. Um, and now, very angrily, I'm going to cast... Um, level two burning hands um and sadly i actually just don't have enough d6s on me hold on a second i'm gonna have to go <laughs> gonna have to go get <laughs> d6s. one sec all right i'll start what's the dc on it i'll start saving he's gone <laughs> yeah he is he's gone i'm gonna i'm gonna run and get some water i'll be right back while he's doing that Well, I made my meal last night. I made beef stew last night. All right. I got some Warhammer what's, dice. What's DC? Uh, the saving throw is 19. Reflex. Uh, the middle one back here passed. The other three failed. Oh, mama. I see 664, six, and I don't know where the other dice went. <laughs> Boy. Uh, I'm just going to re-roll it because I can't see it because it hit the ground. Uh, Do note that to... if your spell does not have a manipulate action, it doesn't actually provoke an AO. Oh, if really? Verbal only, if it's verbal only. Oh, so he yeah. He's got a somatic because he's got to right, touch himself. Yeah, if it's somatic, then you do 
Okay. Okay. Just, um, I don't know. I don't know if it matters or not, but we ended up with uh, 21. 21 damage. Jesus. So you incinerate three hobs in one go. Really want to find the other dice because I have a gut feeling that it was like a six. <laughs> But it's on the floor. It's gone now. Uh, and then the other one. Uh, the other one's pretty singed. Yeah, I paid for it. The knife to the stomach, but hey. Did work, though. Did, yeah. It, it, it did, did, did work, indeed. Where's that fucking dice? Oh, is it under my foot? Oh, it was a three. Okay. It was the same rolls that I got when I actually re-rolled it, so. We're good. Yeah, level two spells, pretty nice. Turns out they're pretty good. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, and you know what the part is? I still got two more of those. <laughs> nice. <laughs> if I don't die first. That's the, the real. There. That's the real concern. Yeah. Now that there's nobody directly in my face, uh, although I probably just scared a hell of a lot of people. Did anything else catch fire when you did that? Um, ooh, that's a good idea. Let's figure that out. I just, I just wonder, because, I mean, we're in a very... <laughs> uh, no, the Hobgoblin's body was shielding the bottom of the ladder. Okay. It did not catch fire. Okay. It, I did just, yeah, there was a lot of Hobgoblin in the way. I'm assuming if I throw a bomb down, it's not going to splash to Lee, right? Correct. Okay. But it might hit the ladder. Uh, okay, uh, back to the top there, Lee. Uh, oh, you oh I'm back. Uh, right. Did these yeah, guys go? Uh, they are... Wait, they went. I went with all the other ones. Yeah, they went. Oh, they went. They okay. ran around there. Okay. Yeah. I'm just making sure. Yep. They should not get they to went. go before me. No, Lee's going to go. We're back to the top. Okay. Mm, yeah. I'm not really sure what to do. I guess I could go back to my bow, uh, but I won't be ready if they climb up. Um, I think you need to come down here, and because I don't okay. know, what, I, what I have a feeling is about to happen is that four are about to turn the corner and run straight at the guy that just blasted a bunch of okay them. all right so uh, how how much what's it take for me to get down the ladder uh assuming you we will assume you can put a little slide on it if you give me an acrobatics check you can make it down in one okay one acrobatics one uh of 25 lee just slide down that ladder like it's his job okay so first action keeps uh, both swords in hand and down he goes. goes. Go down the ladder. Uh, second is to hunt the guy I'm right to. And uh, third is to take the double swing on him. Up. Got it. Uh, I got a one. A, well, a critical. I got a one. Natural one. So 11 yeah. on the silver plated sword. And then the rapier, I got a 24. Okay. So he is going to try to shield block the 24. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Give me damage. On damage. It. Uh, six. Okay. Uh, so he'll take three. His shield will take three. So you punch. Uh, you actually punch through the shield into his arm a little bit. Uh, but it, it clearly stopped the burn of the stab. Okay. Okay. That's it for me. It's three actions. All right. Hob archers. Okay. So this guy, let's see how far away he is. Duh. Yeah, both archers are going to take shots at Greg. You know, on top of the wall and stuff. Uh, Greg, what's your AC? 20. Okay. One hits, one misses. Thirteen damage, Greg. Okay. Uh, 
this one's going to uh, reload and take cover back on the wall like he, uh, he was. The other one's going to reload and take another shot. Uh, and then he will miss critically. And he's going to actually, uh, this, this hobgoblin that climbed up the ladder is going to duck his head in the way. And he's going to take seven damage. <laughs> Shot him in the face. Wrong That's box. six. Okay. I'm just trying to update hit point totals and stuff in the initiative checker. <laughs> just like. Oh, yeah. For some reason, I have two C's max HP is 11. It's 35, right? Yeah, and it's then 35. You're at 11 current. Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. Sorry, I'm just keeping uh, track of the next eight. So group 